Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to uh, provide a full review of the Kelnow Smart Bike Taillight. And you might ask, a taillight? Really? That's what you're doing? Yeah, so we did a very quick one uh, a few weeks ago on a triangular one from Maso, M-A-S-O, and um, it was great, but the battery life is terrible. So we needed a replacement. We looked at a bunch of different products, checked a bunch of different reviews, tried a few different products, and then settled on this thing. Um, and uh, why did we do that? battery life. Um, so let's unbox this very quickly uh, and then we'll go over some of the features. A little manual just tells you how to install it. Uh, USB cable. This is something I don't like right away. It's a uh, micro USB. It's not a big deal to use this. I just wish it was USB-C, but it's not. Oh well. Next thing is the holder and this has two mounts. So you can mount it under your seat or you can mount it around the post using this guy. You just wrap it around and, cl and clip it on and uh, you're on your way. And then of course the actual light and that's it for the boxes. Oh, by the way, that gets to a good point. This is completely unsponsored. Uh, Amazon hasn't given us a penny. Uh, CalNow hasn't given us a penny. So if you like this, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd super appreciate it. Okay, so let's go over a couple of features with this thing. First thing is, what is a smart tail light? Well, it basically means it's got a motion sensor. So uh, when it'll power on by itself and power off by itself. And in this case, it will strobe for five seconds if it detects that you're braking. So that will catch people's attention, you know, people that are behind you. So as far as the running time goes, when it's in marquee mode, the single light going around, well, four lights going around, it's supposed to last uh, 35 hours. So let's say it's 25, still more than enough for me. Uh, when you've got the train running around with the marquee, it is supposed to last 17 hours. And when it's in this double flashing mode, it's supposed to last 20 hours. So I'm pretty happy with the battery uh, life on this thing. You know, if I get half that time, it's enough for me. I'll have to charge it every time I go for a real bike ride. Just what it is. The tech in this, this is a COB LED. That's what's in here. A bunch of COB LEDs. That means chip on board. And you'll see people try to make this out to be a big deal. It's not. Yes, it's the new technology for LEDs. And you've seen them before. It's the flat ones. You see them in a lot of kitchens um, where people have buy these rolls of LEDs and they put them underneath their uh, cabinets. That's a COB. It all means a chip on board, which means the LED is on top and the circuit board that controls it is under it. You don't care. Most people don't care. Um, but uh, it is the newer tech uh, and it does provide a slightly different uh, style of light, but it also uses a little bit more electricity. So it's actually kind of a negative. That being said, this CalNow uh, taillight has an 800 milliamp battery. That's a big deal. I think the uh, little Maso one that we had was probably, it didn't actually spec, but my guess is from math, probably less than 200. So 800 is pretty good and you can feel it. It's got some, it's got a little bit of mass to it and some size. It's a lithium ion battery and it supports USB fast charging, which I think is absolutely garbage. I don't think it does. It's IPX5. What is IPX5? It means that it's water, well, they call it waterproof. It's more like crazy water resistant. So you could drop it in a puddle for a second and pull it out. It can be in, uh, in, in really heavy rain and it'll be just fine. In other words, just what you want in the taillight uh, for your bike. But can you dunk it or take it swimming? No. Other companies talk about how theirs is IPX6 or IPX7. Who cares? IPX5 is, is all you're looking for. They, they claim seven modes, but they're kind of double counting a couple of things. So really there's, uh, looks like there's three or four modes. So you press the power button, uh, there it is, and that's a marquee. And I have to keep moving because it's detecting the movement. So if I stop, uh, it will stop. Now this is one I like. This one, as you can see, it's going to change. Yeah, that's the mode I like. It's, ch it's going to change from a, you know, the marquee mode to a flashing mode, which I quite like because I want different. The whole point of having the light is to have, is to catch people's attention. Now, uh, to change modes, uh, you can press it and it will change to a different mode. Isn't that nice? And there we go. So there's marquee two and then there's the flashing mode. Uh, yeah. Now, and there's also another uh, mode you can have. It, you, you won't be able to see this in the camera, I'm sure, but I'm going to power this off by long pressing it. There it is, go power down. And now I'm gonna press and hold the power button and there's two tiny little LEDs at the end here that are blue. You long press and hold this, and I have to look at it by the way to see it because it's so dim, there it is. 
And that changes the mode from intelligent mode to normal mode. What the difference is? Pretty minor. It boils down to about how many seconds it takes to power the unit off when it doesn't detect motion. In intelligent mode, it turns off in eight seconds. In non-intelligent mode, it turns off in 20 or 30, I can't recall. I don't care. All right, so that's all of the spec. Let's talk about the money. This cost me uh, $20 Canadian, so for round math, let's call it $15 US. Uh, and I'm not expecting a whole lot for $15, I gotta tell you. <laughs> it's pretty cool that I can get something that's this neat for 15 bucks. It delivered to my door. What I don't like about it is that there's no website. So you can't go to calnow.com or something like that and have a chat with them if there's a problem. It's $15, you're not going to. You're just gonna replace it if it dies or if there's a real problem. And Amazon's actually pretty good to work through. So the next thing I don't like is that it's the micro USB, which I've mentioned a number of times. Do I really care? No. I would pay an extra dollar to go to, to a standard USB, which is USB type C, but what are you gonna do? It isn't 15 bucks. I'm not gonna spend 45 on uh, one that does have USB C. And the last thing I don't like is that it's not different color LEDs, which I would like just so that it would be uh, more noticeable. Um, but this is cheaper and game, 15 bucks US, meh, who cares? So what do we like about the CalNow Smart Bike taillight? A lot of things. It feels like a quality product. That's the number one thing. Uh, number two is it has a 800 milliamp battery. That's pretty big for these cheap little uh, bike taillights. Uh, actually quite large. The next thing I like is the smart technology. I'm like you probably, I get off my bike, I forget to turn it off and then the damn thing's dead. So it's great that it turns off by itself. The braking thing's probably more of a gimmick, but hey, I'll take it, can't beat the price. So can I recommend this? Yeah, I think I can. Uh, I will put up a second video if there's any problems with this uh, in the coming months, but I really don't expect it. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up, we'd super appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca, that's www.urtech.ca, or you can leave a question or comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.